Hi guys, I want to show you how to make chicken and chickpeas curry. It's not going to take a lot of time to prepare, I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. I am one of those people that does not like to spend an enormous amount of time in the kitchen. Preferably when I do cook, I cook for at least a couple of days. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some chicken. This chicken I got, this is a halal chicken. You also need some spices. If you don't want to get ready made spice, you can get salt, pepper, garlic, ginger, turmeric, any other spices that you do prefer. I'm going to use frozen garlic and ginger puree. I'm also going to use chopped tomato, I'll put them in this bowl which I'm going to grind with this thing and I've got some chickpeas, I've got loads of chickpeas in here I've got... Now I've already washed the chicken drumsticks and I put them in the water and all I've put is two of these garlic, ginger and garlic cubes I really like these drumsticks because there's not a lot of fat in them it takes literally two minutes to wash and you just stick them in there uh, with some water you don't want to fill it up to the max just yet because you are going to put in the chickpeas and the tomatoes and it is going to increase the water level I'm going to grind this in Preferably you should put this on a flat surface. Make sure there's no lumpy bits, otherwise you'll get some tomato in your curry. And stick it in there. Time for the second one. Um, you can put one, but I want to just put two. It will make a bit of a thicker curry. And plus I am not using any onions because I don't like peeling them and I don't like to cry. Here goes the second one. So the next part is getting your chickpeas, opening them with a tin opener of course. Um, putting them in a strainer. Now you're just going to put them in, oh did I mention you need to get a pressure cooker as well. It will save you so much time. You see the water has gone up to the maximum now. Put a stir. I like to use the Laziza Korma spice but I finished that. So there's so many varieties that you can get. There's a biryani, there's a chicken tikka, there are so many other. They're kind of a little bit different to each other. You can see this whole pressure cooker is full. So based on that, you need to calculate how much you want to put in and plus these do have a lot of spices in it. So if you don't like it spicy, I would not recommend putting in a lot. But I'm going to put in at least a third to a half of the packet. Just, of course you want to put in some salt as well. I'm going to put in about this much. Um, you always want to put less because then afterwards, if it's not enough, you can put more. But if you put too much, then what are you going to do? So you've got the chicken in there, you've got the garlic ginger, you've got water, you've got tomatoes, you've got the spices and that's it. You have to open it and turn it around the right way. When the pressure increases, that's going to come up. And this one, there is this thing here. Just make sure it's on the one which closes the steam. I'll show you guys the time that I'm putting this on and the time is 17.05. Put it to the highest. You want to leave it for about 20 minutes. Alright, it's not yet been 20 minutes but I just wanted to show you that red dot, it has increased. Steam has started to rise. Please do not attempt to open this at this stage. It's literally going to go everywhere. Unless you want your clothes and your whole house to think of curry, like close all the doors and wear like some shitty clothes. Don't wear your good clothes because the smell is going to stay. The reason why we checked it after 20 minutes is so that it doesn't burn at the bottom, it doesn't stick. So the time is now. 25 and you can see the steam is coming out. You don't want to try to open this. You want to put this oh, That's going to increase the steam Decrease the fire. Transport it to your sink When you take it to your sink the steam is going to naturally decrease. If you want to speed up the process Cold tap. Is that it? This will decrease the pressure and you might have heard but the red thingy has actually gone down. This is safe to open so it's back on the hob. You might want to give it a twirl. A twirl? What? This is cooking. You might want to mix it. It hasn't stuck to the bottom. Nothing's burnt. You want to check if the chicken is cooked. All you need is a fork. You want to try and catch one of the little buggers. If you're brave enough, you might want to try it. Not yet cooked. Put the lid back on. 1728. I'm going to leave it for at least another 10 minutes. Again, put it high. The time is now. 38. Um, you might want to just open that up. When chicken is cooked, you can smell it's cooked and this is cooked. Turn that off now. Take it to the sink and I'm gonna do what I do best. Decrease the steam. Nah. It's like when you take the pressure cooker to the sink, it knows what's gonna happen. And look, all by itself, the steam has gone down. It's like, oh, did you hear that? Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna do increase the water. And here are safety first, kids. Again, take it back to the cooker. This is not the natural habitat for a cooker. So I'm gonna go take it back. See, this is where it belongs. And look at that. Be careful because the steam coming off is really hot. So if one person has two chicken drumsticks, 
at least four people can eat off this and if it's just for one person this will go for at least two days even if you're like me and you eat ten times a day like this will suffice so you want to take a closer look huh ooh. 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 just gonna take a little bit and see if I agree might need a bit more a few green chilies maybe some paprika maybe some bajuluka and a little bit of salt but if you don't like chili this will be perfect thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i will be making more cooking videos let me know what you want to see in the comment below we will see you soon love you Mwah, 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 mwah.